your mobile devices, your phone, and your are, charged, are charged, charged because when that power goes out, this is the way you communicate. <laughs> right. You can also watch, uh, you know, Netflix and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Your TV's not going to work. Stay entertained, so you don't get crazy. Well, right. And the big part of this is the timing of when this exactly. Is so it looks like the timing is going to be for the northern Willamette Valley late morning and then into the afternoon. And so uh, the temper, the cold temperatures are going to be there, and the moisture is going to be in place. And so that recipe uh, can really bring in treacherous conditions on the roads. Winter storm warnings have been issued all the way to the coast, too, thanks to the strong, very cold offshore wind. Uh, the timing right now, late morning through afternoon, as far as the snow is concerned. And we'll see that change over to sleet and freezing rain likely uh, later in the afternoon. And then we could even see the potential for freezing rain to stick around through tomorrow evening and even into the early part of tomorrow night uh, because those easterly winds are going to be so strong. 36 right now. East winds coming in at 20, gusting to 31. It feels like it's only 25 out there. Your evening planner tonight, it's dry, but it is cold, and again, it's blustery. Uh, we'll see east winds steady between 20 and 30 miles an hour, occasionally some gusts up near 45. Wind chill will stay in the teens and 20s tonight. Overnight lows down into the upper 30s. Clouds continue to thicken up and increase, so mostly cloudy. And again, we say dry through the early part of tomorrow morning before this system right here, and it's already starting to track into southern portions of Oregon uh, before that moisture starts to arrive later in the morning tomorrow. So it's all about the cloud cover at this point in the wind tonight. Uh, here's the timing of it. You can see this system lifting up from south to north. And so southern portions of the Willamette Valley will start to see some of this right around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning and will likely start in the form of a mix of rain and snow. And then we'll have that freezing rain potential in the morning. So we'll have that wintry mix early on. And there will be that potential that we could see freezing rain hanging on uh, to the morning hours down south. We won't have that easterly cold wind coming in from the gorge to keep it snow for as long as what we'll see in the metro area. So we actually may see a little more ice down across southern portions of the Willamette Valley. Meanwhile, 10 a.m. hits in the metro area. We're starting to see those first few flakes of snow fly. Uh, for the gorge, we have windy, snowy conditions developing, becoming almost blizzard-like at that point. By noon, we continue to see snow coming down because temperatures are going to be cold enough to support snow at this point. It'll happen sometime tomorrow afternoon. We have to see those east winds back off a little bit and start to see uh, a change in the wind direction to see that change over from snow to ice pellets and eventually freezing rain. So at this point at three o'clock, we could see a mix of sleet and snow and then starting to change over to freezing rain for some of us. So that means accumulating ice and also things icing over on top of the snow on the roads. 5 p.m. and we're still looking at some scattered showers remaining, snowy conditions in the gorge and that potential still for freezing rain and sleet uh, in the metro area. By 8 p.m. tomorrow, night, we still may see some areas east metro back to the gorge dealing with freezing rain. That potential really sticks around through tomorrow early night, and it won't be until early Friday morning that we finally see everything fall out for us in the metro and the valley. Meanwhile, for the gorge, it's just going to stay cold below freezing all through Friday morning, and so we'll have those treacherous conditions lasting at least through the first part of Friday out in that area. So winter storm warnings have been issued. Here's a look at the impacts for the Portland metro area. One to perhaps four inches of snow, depending on when we see the changeover happen and uh, we'll be looking at most likely at least a couple of inches I would say transitioning to freezing rain on top of that and then a quarter of an inch of ice that is all it takes to start to see power outages for the gorge significant snow here and then we'll be looking at the strong wind blizzard conditions central Oregon will be looking at the same thing windy snowy conditions for the Willamette Valley you drop south of Wilsonville and we're going to look at a trace to perhaps a couple of inches of snow but more in the form of ice and the ice threat is going to be the big deal here for the coast we'll have the possibility for some snow mixing in with some ice too early on, then becoming all rain. Eastern Oregon, significant snow, and uh, we could see several inches of it out there, and of course the windy conditions too. So Thursday, highs in the low 30s from Portland to Vancouver, down south trying to lift out of that with a cold rain by the time we get into the afternoon. Your seven-day forecast, temperatures at freezing tomorrow, storm warnings until midnight, then a chilly damp day Friday, chilly through the weekend, and then I hate to even bring this up, but next Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be watching that closely too with temperatures in the mid 30s and yeah. more showers moving in. But we'll talk more about that later. We got to yeah. get through this storm at this point. Later. <laughs>